Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is CrazyPie, and today we're going to be talking about why we never saw the actual promised content like the L-Star, as well as the two ordinances that were promised to us within Apex Legends Season 1. Now, half of this is theory, and the other half is probably, you know, the actual truth. And the theory part, I'll, I'll talk about first, and the actual truth, I'll get to secondly. But most importantly, if you guys do enjoy this video, please feel free down below to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications turned on so that you never miss another video. Every single subscribe literally gets me one step closer to being able to put more effort into my content like you guys don't know it now but in like a month or so from now you will so i'm hyped but yeah without further ado let's talk about why we never saw the l star come to apex legends season one so obviously there still is another month left in season one but we've pretty much went about like 40 days without any new content in Apex Legends Season 1 other than Gibraltar and Caustic getting their new buffed abilities which allows them to take 10% less damage. Now there is a couple of reasons behind this. There's one that's most likely the real reason which I'll get to after the first one but uh, the first reason that I actually got commented by a subscriber and a uh, down in one of my videos and I kind of believe it which makes a little bit more sense and that is that apparently there's been a death at Respawn Studios. Now I've tried to look into it a little bit more but I haven't really found much on it so um, I'm not too sure if this is the actual reason but we can speculate and assume that if there was a death that this does make a lot of sense because if you think about it like this Respawn isn't that big of a studio they only have around like a hundred people at their whole studio and half of them are working on Star Wars Fallen Jedi and the other half quit Titanfall 3 to work on Apex Legends. A Respawn Studios only has like just over 100 uh, actual content creators and studio directors at their studio and uh, if you guys look at it this way Fortnite has over a thousand so obviously Respawn Studios the employees are going to be a little bit more closer to each other than people at like Epic Games in, uh, studio because they have less people and they have a, the ability to build more of a camaraderie ship I 100% pronounced that word wrong but um they're basically like a big family at Respawn and if one of their employees or one of their employees relative dies obviously the whole studio is gonna be a little bit you know shooken by that and if you guys want even more of an example of why this could be true is if we look at it back in Titanfall 2 all right just after Titanfall 2 came out right after Angel City Most Wanted which was the first DLC it came out around a month after the game launched they took a whole two months off just for the holidays from around December all the way to February, they took two months off of developing new free content for Titanfall 2 just to take a little break and to let their employees enjoy their lives. So obviously, if we put that into play here, if one of their employees uh, did die and if one of their employees actual like relatives did die, I'm pretty sure they'd let that employee or they'd let at least a couple employees take the day or a week or something off just to cope with that. Because obviously if your relative dies or if one of your employees dies, it's going to take a little bit of a while to cope with that loss. And if it was one of their employees, it would make even more sense. So I can totally see how this would make sense because obviously if they're one of their employees did die they would try and cope with the loss and they would try and push their content back which also leads me to believe it's true because if we look at it from one of the tweets that one of the respawn devs actually said someone tweeted at them saying come on already we need more content or something like that and the respawn developer basically responded by saying just wait till you see what we have in store for next season I basically just summarized it very blatantly for you guys there, but from what Respawn has actually said in their articles and blog posts, they have a lot coming for Season 2, and it sounds like a lot more than usual, because if we look at it this way, we were promised two new ordnance and abilities, or two new items, sorry, as well as one new gun, that being of the L-Star. So because they're saying and they're emphasizing the massive amount of content for next season, which by the way I'm super hyped for, it would make sense that they would have to slow it down and postpone most of that content for next season, which obviously makes sense why next season is going to be filled with so much content because it's also packed with the leftovers that we never got in season 1, which makes sense. Now the second reason here, which is also pretty likely, is that they're basically trying to wait to upload content for their game after they've patched out all the bugs, which makes a lot of sense too, because if we look at it this way, we've seen so many bug fixes, basically only bug fixes, come out for Apex Legends over the course of Season 1 so far. Now the reason being is because if you look at it this way, why would they want to release new content for their game when they already have to fix countless amounts of bugs? Because if we look at it in the case of Fortnite, they keep uploading new content to the game 
and when you upload new content to a game, it'll actually increase the amount of bugs because you're uploading more content to the game. So since Respawn already has to fix a massive amount of bugs at the studio, why would they want to release more content to their game that they would potentially have to fix more on down the road, which would just add to the number of bugs that they have to fix? And they care about their employees, like I said, so they want to not work them as hard. So obviously this could make sense as well. You see, both of these reasons could be interconnected to why they postponed most of the stuff towards season two. I believe the L star was taken out of the game files. It still is in the friggin' loading screen for crying out loud but at the end of the day i don't really care i just want everything to be all right at respawn because they're probably my favorite developers out there i absolutely love their products but um we still do have the l star loading screen as well as in an article with playstation around a month ago we did have confirmed confirmation of two new items to come into apex legends so if that is true and if we do look at the roadmap as well Hopefully all this content should trickle out around season two, which would be pretty cool because we also have new map changes coming to Kings Canyon. Season two is gonna be revealed just in around like a couple like weeks or so in the beginning of June at EA Play and I cannot wait for that guys. So if you guys are excited for that, please feel free down below to subscribe to the channel as I'm gonna be uh, making videos all about it posting content, posting tweets, posting everything about it, and I'm even going to be trying to live stream the event. So subscribe to the channel with bell notifications turned on so that you never miss that. But yeah, that basically sums up pretty much my theories and speculations as to why we never saw this content coming out into Apex Legends Season 1. If you guys did enjoy this video, like I said, subscribe, like down below, Instagram link down below as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you guys and have a wonderful rest of your day.